Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Baring, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm talking about fluoride toxicity and what you haven't heard about fluoride toxicity. So you may be aware that certain toothpaste for a certain age group of children do have an FDA warning in the US, and in quote, it says, keep out of reach of children under six years of age if accidentally swallowed, more than used for brushing, seek professional help or contact a poison and control center immediately. Now, why is that FDA warning on there? Well, it's important to know that just even the smallest little dosage of fluoride can induce symptoms of acute fluoride toxicity. And some of those early signs of poisoning, let's say that the child, you know, ingests some of that yummy flavored, whether it's minty or bubblegum flavored toothpaste that has fluoride in it, it they could have some GI pain and some nausea, some vomit even headaches because of that overt fluoride toxicity that happens very quickly. So the minimum dose to produce some of these symptoms of toxicity is very small. So just 0.1 to 0.3 milligrams per kilogram of body weight. And for instance, a 10 kilogram child can suffer symptoms from just one to three milligrams in a single sitting of that ingestion of toothpaste. And that would be just less than 3% of the entire length of the tube in terms of the volume of ingested fluoride in that toothpaste. So really something to think about as parents to make sure that the little ones won't get into it because as a mom myself, we know and as soon as we turn our head, that's when they're going to go and grab and start to eat and get into something that they're not supposed to. So if you do have fluoride uh, toothpaste, that could be also, you know, uh, mouthwash and fluoride containing products in the house. Make sure it is out of reach. Now I do have other videos for adults about maybe some of the reasons why you may not want to have that type of toothpaste in the house with fluoride. So make sure you check out my other videos on that. Now in this Canadian study, it actually showed that women's urine so in pregnancy with just one milligram per liter of fluoride resulted in a 4.5 point drop in their babies and these were their male babies which are more at risk for that fluoride toxicity and that drop in IQ based on that study. Another study showed that there was definitely a correlation between lowered IQ and fluoride toxicity. So in this review of the studies they found that out of 77 studies that were investigated of the relationship between fluoride and human intelligence, 69 of those studies have found that an elevated fluoride exposure is associated with reduced IQ in humans. So something to think about and not every day do we hear about fluoride toxicity, especially so find out if this is actually in your drinking water in the place where you live. And then, you know, do your due diligence as to the amounts. I was actually shocked to find out how much is in the water here. We don't drink our tap water in our home, but I know a lot of people do. So it's definitely something that you want to spread the news. Please share this video so that other people, you know, are aware of this fluoride toxicity issue for their own health. Now, now, what's interesting is that in Western Europe, 97% of the Western European population does not have fluoride in their water. This is just not something that is done. And studies have shown that rates of cavities have declined by similar, similar amounts over time as compared to countries that do and do not fluoridate their water. So it, it's really interesting. I looked at this graph, I looked at the data, and I was sort of shocked to find out that we would think, yes, because of fluoridation, that's why our cavities are going down. But I was surprised to find out that the data showed very clearly on the graph that that same downward slope of, you know, less cavities in the population also occurred in non-fluoridated drinking water countries. So this is something that we definitely, again, we have to be asking these questions. Why is this even done in the first place? And if you look at the history, it's a whole other show about why our fluoride got into the water in terms of having financial, but also in terms of dumping from the aluminum industry. 
it just seemed like a good idea at the time to put it into drinking water. So I don't know, in my personal opinion, and probably not the best thing to do. And it's continued to be that way for forever in certain parts of the world. Another point that you may not have heard about fluoride toxicity is if you are feeding your babies, if you need to give them infant formula, is to never mix fluoridated water. So that drinking water, if that is something that is in your home, not to mix that fluoridated drinking water with the baby formula because this can overexpose an infant to 100 times the proposed safe level of fluoride in their exposure on a daily basis. So this is something really to be aware of. Soy baby infant form formulas are actually higher in fluoride as compared to some of the others. So something else to take note of. Also for children who suffer with ADD and ADHD and adults as well, they are more prone to a fluoride toxicity issue in terms of their central nervous system and the way that their nerves are firing. So this could be something else that is a toxic concern in their diets. And definitely anybody who has an underfunctioning thyroid gland to look into that fluoride toxicity and that exposure, usually from dental products, but you know something else to consider if you do have a thyroid and compromised thyroid function because we know that fluoride will displace our iodine and iodine is very important for the functioning of our thyroid gland and our metabolism so something else to think about so i hope that you learned something new i'd love to hear from you if you do have a question or comment please put it below in the question and comment section please be sure to share this video as well and give me a big thumbs up i truly appreciate all of your great feedback and if you're new to my channel welcome in i hope that you'll subscribe and click that bell to turn on your notifications so you always get my newest and latest uploads which happens every single day of the week. And remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally. Thanks for watching today.